So yeah, the idea here to showcase a little bit on this example course here, how things look like when they're set up in Clanet, what are the benefits of the platform when the students are studying in here, and how we can promote this good learning using the tools available in this Clanet platform. So what you are seeing in here is the view that where a participant, in this case a student, will show up when they sign into Clanet. They can see those trainings where they are currently participating in. And of course, it's very quick and easy from the administrator in that organization to decide what content and what courses are available for each student. So in this mm -hmm. case, my demo account has access to three courses on my front page. And I can quickly see from here which one I want to continue my studying with. Other good things on the platform that will help the user a lot is that we do have notifications available in here. So every time I get, for example, feedback from the teacher, somebody replies to my comment and there are things happening inside my course, I will get a very social media like notification directly at me. So I'm as a student easily able to follow how I've gotten feedback and all that sort of things for my assignments. We also have chat available. So we do have chat for each of the boards. So the courses, course areas, but also you get a chance to send private messages inside your organization, for example, to the course instructor and vice versa. So all of these functions are available for the learners in here. For those cases that a student is looking for a specific material, they are, for example, working on a circuit. They're able to search for boards and content directly here from the front page. So if they, for example, have 10 different courses available and they just need help with some specific material that there would be, they're quickly able to look it from here and able to get to the board. So you can see, for example, that I'm looking with the word circuit in here. But as we do use AI to enhance our search functions, it's able to identify that this board will have content related to circuits in there. So in this way, students and participants will quickly find the content what they're looking for in those cases that they have multiple courses available. But let's take a bit of closer look how the course itself looks like. So as a student, I open up my front page in here. And the big thing here at Clanet, what we want to really emphasize is that students don't feel like they are alone. So already from the get-go, our social learning aspects are visible in here. So I can see the conversations that are happening on this platform. I can see people leaving comments to the material. I can see people asking questions in the material. And if we want to, you can always set up your profile pictures and everything. So we really get this feeling of community for these programs that are running on Clanet. And of course, I can easily open up the chat board to post messages into this board level chat where the instructor can read my messages, they can reply to me. They're also able to add attachments in here so they can provide additional pictures or videos or I can share a picture, for example, of the problem that I'm facing with my project. So we really want to make this interaction very easy on the platform. There are also announcements in here, so I can quickly and easily send over notifications to all participants on things that they should be doing, any weekly schedules, all that sort of things. So this will help to pull the students back to the platform if they haven't logged in for a while. And in here, we also have the search available to look for specific contents inside this board. If I'm a busy person, I always have this button available to start learning. This will take me to the start of the course, but if I have already started stud studying, this will show up as continue learning. And that will take me to the content that I was previously going through. So let's say that I was in the middle of an assignment and I had to stop for that day. Next time when I sign into Clanet with just two clicks, I open up the course and I click here and it will take me right back to where I was yesterday. So it's really quick and easy to get back into your studies on Clanet without having to look through different menus and open up different materials. So here we have the course example that we have built here. So as a student, I can easily read what the content that I'm about to study will be about. We have a nice progress bar here indicating how what is my current progression inside this course. So 
as I start going through the assigned learning materials in here, I will, as I watch these, my progression for this specific board will also automatically update. And the good thing with Glanet is that all these videos, these instructional videos that are really high quality and accompany the content in there, at any point, if I feel like I need to ask for some questions or I want to contribute with a comment, if I just pause the video in here, I'm able to add a comment in here and everybody is able to see this. I can ask questions if I tap this one in here. So in this way, all of these materials are interactive. So if somebody feels lost or somebody has a great example to share or an idea to share, they're able to kind of work together with these materials on this platform and they aren't just studying by themselves. You can also reply to comments, you can like comments, so instructors can build very nice activities around these functions on the course. Every time you're navigating, we are asking for feedback for these materials. So the participants are able to rate these contents based on how difficult they felt it was, how interesting it was, and what was their own skill. So all of this analytical information is available for anyone running the courses so they can identify those parts where people are struggling and they can see what's actually going on inside these courses. Navigation is very easy. Always as I've completed one material, I'm able to jump directly into the next one without having to go back and forth. So I'm easily able to move within these contents and continuing my study. Let's jump back to the big view in here. So now you can see that as a student, I can easily see my progress for this whole module and for these individual contents in here. So it's easy to keep track of the things that I have completed. So let's look at a bit of the text materials here inside Clanet. So in this module, we have a bit of instruction material available for the students that they need to learn before they start to move into the later project, projects in here that they will be completing. So the good thing with all the text-based material here inside Clanet, we do the same thing. So all of this material, this text that is part of the learning content becomes interactable as well. You're able to highlight you will be able to leave comments or make private notes in here as well. So as a student, I will be able to keep my own notes per uh, specific topics all in same place. Or if I need to copy, for example, some code or some other text, I can just copy the text from here. But all of these comments are again, a good way to uh, allow these conversations happen on the platform. So people can really ask questions or contribute on these topics that are being discussed in the materials. Of course, in the final version of these courses, there's quite a lot of content to go through. So all of these modules keep the content neatly organized. And when you're done with contents, you can simply minimize it. So you will always have as a student, very nice, clear view of the content that you will be going through. Also with Clanet, as you're able to embed any kinds of online tools, be it virtual reality or uh, interactive diagrams, you're able to put those and show those directly here inside Clanet. So for example, here we have a ThingLink content that is going to help the students to understand a bit better how this circuit board uh, diagram works. So I'm able to click around, I'm able to read more information in here. So there's no need to build complicated, like flat instructions with uh, complicated photos, but students are simply able to click here to see what do these things mean, what they're able to learn from these. So all of these interactive contents are really gonna make the learning experience much, much more nicer for the student. And of course, in trainings like this, Clanet really shines because everybody is able to share their project with others if they want to do so. So you can set up so that all the projects that the students will be returning as part of this course, they're able to make it so that it's public. So any user will be able to then, if set so, able to add photos or videos of their own project. And this material also becomes, um, 
interactive where people will be then the other participants can watch those videos they can ask questions leave comments give feedback and all that sort of things so you really get this nice sense of showing what you have just created because these topics are uh very visual and interesting so it will be a good rewarding feeling for the students to get some feedback and allow others to watch what they have created of course we have the assessment tool available in here for the instructor to keep uh, tabs on how people are learning. So very easy to set up, create these halfway quizzes where you're able to test the knowledge, all these sorts of things available as part of these courses. And at the end, you're able to set it all so that the students will be receiving feedback on how did they do in the test so they can instantly see what was the correct answer. And there is also possible to set an explanation in here, which will teach them what would have been the correct answer and what they should study to do better next time. So it's really kind of like a interactive also when you're studying by yourself, but all these social tools will help that also from the student's point of view. So yeah, to summarize, we want to keep the user experience very easy, very visual. You have always nice pictures to place in here allowed able to add instructions in here so it's really kind of like a guiding experience for the participants they will always know what they are supposed to do and all of the content is there for them to interact with and by showing all of this content inside Clanet, you also avoid uh, the trouble of making sure that people have the latest version of a uh, special video player installed or PDF reader or Word or whatsoever that would be, because all of the content is here inside the platform itself. There is no need for the users to download anything to their computer and view it in there. So they will be able to do all of the studying in here. I will quickly jump into the teacher's point of view to kind of see that how the uh, teachers are able to follow the progress of student on these courses. So here I have the same course. Now just from the teacher's point of view. So the user experience is very similar. This is also very easy to use for, for any instructor. So I'm able to add content in here because I'm the admin this time. And if I want to take a look at the results for the quizzes, for example, I get a nice view in here that will show how everybody has been doing in there. I can see all the attempts in here. I can go and look at the specific answers they have given. I can see the timestamps. I can see how much time they have spent there. So this is really quick and easy way for me to follow what is going on in my training. I'm also able to export all of these results as an Excel file for further analysis or bookkeeping. The one thing that's going to be really good when there are a lot of people studying on the course is the track function that we have available in here. So I have the traditional score view that would give me the, my current grade based on the points that I have been getting from this course, but you're also able to follow the progress. So from this view, I can quickly see how each of the participants are doing. I can see if they have completed a content. I can see if they have started a content but haven't finished it. So this means they haven't fully watched the video, they haven't fully read the document, or this gray meaning that they haven't started it yet. So in this way, it's very easy for me to see how they are progressing throughout the course, how many have completed all of these contents and basically understanding how everybody is doing. I can also see their kind of like individual scorecard by clicking their name. So I can see the assessments they have done, how many of the mandatory assessments have been done, how many comments they have made. So. In this way, it's very easy for me to understand how everybody is doing on the course. Then, of course, we have more in-depth board analytics that allow us to track the time spent there. It allows us to uh, track also how people are viewing the content. So, for example, how much do they study at one time? So, in this view, it's very quick and easy for me to see, for example, that today this user has studied five different materials or this person has studied 16 materials so this helps me to understand how people are progressing through the course and i can see 
immediately if some people are falling behind and if I should be worried about them for not studying as much as the others, so I will be able to do that intervention and fix the situation. So all of these analytics reports are there to support anyone running the course to better understand what's happening inside there. So good user experience from learner's point of view and plenty of tools for anyone running these courses to better understand what's happening there to guarantee that there's good learning results after the trainings. Okay, from my point of view, this is pretty much it. So all of these contents, you're able to add links, videos, documents, or these embedded contents that can be highly interactive, used with different tools, can be videos, can be quizzes, all these sorts of things. So you're able to experience these very dynamic contents as part of Planet. But this is pretty much everything that I have to say uh, from our point of view and would be very uh, happy to answer any questions that you have in mind.